three Aimi Malu Kenya Society officials, Julius Mutua, Pascal Kiseli, and Alex Chalo Mutemi, have been arraigned in Nairobi over the disputed Portland cement land in Mavoko. The three are among suspects also questioned by the Directorate of Criminal Investigations last week over land fraud belonging to the East African Portland cement, where thousands of families were rendered homeless and after their houses were demolished. Ayub Abdikadir has more. The prosecution requested the court to detain the three officials to aid in the ongoing investigations, arguing that the three were being investigated of a conspiracy to defraud and obtaining money by false pretense. Applicant needs the respondents to be in custody so that they can assist in some of the investigations. The complainant, the managing director of the East African Portland Cement to which the land in Mavoko belongs, told the court that the three were part of a web of network involved in illegal land sale to unsuspecting Kenyans. Julius Mutua, Pascal Kiseli and Alex Chalo Mutemi were among 20 individuals questioned by the DCI last week, including the area lawmaker Patrick Macau, over accusations of obtaining money by false pretense after houses belonging to occupants who bought land from Aimi Malu, Kenya, were demolished. The Environment and Land Court in Machakos County on the 9th of October dismissed a suit by the Farmers Association of a failure to serve the defendants in the case with amended pleadings. Following the lapse of the 21-day window, to serve the defendants, Justice Annet Nyukore struck out the case of a failure by the plaintiff to serve its own documents as directed by the court. According to court documents, Aimi Malu Kenya filed a fake title deed with entry number inconsistent with records at the Ministry of Lands. The three officials came into the limelight after thousands of families who bought land from the association were rendered homeless in county estate when bulldozers descended on their property. An estimated 10,000 families have been affected in the demolitions, according to the Residents' Association. The three will remain in custody until Wednesday, when the court is expected to issue a ruling on whether they will be detained pending charging or not. Ayub Abdikadir, Citizen TV.